Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be downloading a lot of free games. So let's just go right down to our store in PlayStation. And if you're looking for a particular game, yes, it's way faster to just go up. And then you will see the second option where it says search and just search for that particular game. However, I want to show you the long way and that way I can show you all the games that are free right now. So we're going to go ahead and here on the right hand side, we will see all these options. So let's just scroll down until we see free. Under free, scroll to the right and then you will see free to play, which is our second option. Just press X right there and we're going to see a ton of games that just came out for free. So download these games and then you're good to go. So they should say free unless they say purchase, which means you guys have already downloaded them from before or maybe they are downloading at this point in time. So right now we have these games right here. So if they say free like this, just click on it. Again, you should see download. You shouldn't see a price on it. This one's only 805 megabytes. Let's just download it. Again, it shouldn't tell you or ask you for any payment information. It shouldn't say anything like that. So let's go down into our second game. And again, it shouldn't ask you for any payment information because these are free. So that's how you make sure they are in fact for free. This one's only 61 megabytes. Let's just go back as well. And let's go into this one right here. We're gonna download this as well. Now this one's 2.05 gigs, which is a pretty fast download. So the download should begin right away. Yep, once it downloads, we can go ahead and play any other games. You don't have to wait around in order for all of them to download or for that particular game to download. Right now, this one is just a little bit less than a gig, but just around there. So this will take a little bit more time than others. Let's just go back. Now we're gonna see this VR experience. VR experience, yeah, it's different than other games that you would see. But again, this one's pretty small, only at 872 megabytes. Let's just go back. And right here, how long will these games take to download? Well, it really does depend on your internet speed. This one, for example, it's 12 gigs. So it will take a lot longer for this game to download versus the other ones, which are 800 megabytes, for example, because they are quite smaller. So it does depend on your internet speed. I do suggest using maybe an ethernet cable with your PlayStation to make things faster. Usually Wi-Fi, it's not the best or who knows, it depends where you have your router. Right now, this one's 1.55 gigs. Let's just download it. And there we go. So once it begins download, we can get out of it. And like I mentioned before, you guys can go ahead and play a game. We just keep downloading other games. We're checking out other stuff right here on your PlayStation. This one's 2477 gigs. So this is gonna take quite a bit of time versus other games that we have downloaded previously. Let's just go back and we're gonna keep going. This one should be smaller. And we'll, yep, and we're only looking at 2.57 gigs. Let's just press download. Once the download begins, we can just get out. They're just gonna keep downloading one at a time. So everything will be okay. This one is 1.87 gigs, all right, arcade. It's gonna begin the download and then we can just get out and go and play other games or keep downloading other games. Then we have Call of Duty. Now this is VR game. Looks good, so let's just download it. Once the download begins, like we always do, we just get up and keep going. Then we have this game right here, which is pretty good. And we're looking at 4.35 gigs. Gonna download this. As long as you guys have enough space, we should be okay. If you're getting stuck for any reason, I would just restart my PlayStation. Sometimes some games will say unavailable. Well, then we just have to try out later on. This one is 740 megabytes, so a little bit less than a gig, but just around there. So download speed should be quite fast with this. And let's just go back and we have PlayStation VR demo disc. So as you may have noticed, there's several discs. There's a one, two, three. Right now, this one's 38 gigs. I'm gonna download this. And each one is kind of big, so get ready to download each one of those and it will take some space right here on your PlayStation. We have another VR game, which is perfect. Let's just press download. And that's 2.22 gigs. So again, 
not too huge it's gonna be quite faster than other ones anyways let's just go back scroll down now this is a trial which i usually don't like trials but we're gonna download it anyways there we go i think if you're just gonna do a trial which is good to do a trial to see if you like it or not it's not the same thing as a full game such as this one that's for free which is 15.29 gigs I'm gonna press download and begin the download then we can just go back and keep going with everything else so here we have universe now autumn universe is only 2.27 gigs pretty small so we can download this this will be a fast fast download now your download speed does require does depend on your on your wi-fi speed if you guys have pretty slow this could take a couple hours a couple minutes it depends all on your wi-fi speed and here we got 1.19 gigs so this one's gonna be pretty fast for me once this begins the download we can go ahead get out of here and keep going with everything else so we're gonna get out I'm gonna go into poker and download it as well now this one's point yeah 4.16 gigs so just a little bit bigger but it's not those 30 or 15 gigs that we've seen from other games the downloading time should be quite fast for some of these games this one isn't even half a gig we're looking at 228 megabytes so let's just download it this might be the fastest ones yeah the fastest one that we're gonna download from today we'll see what happens and we do have batman episode yep and we can go ahead and download this now this is 1.83 gigs it's um quite small actually so this should be a fast fast one to download for sure and then we got this guy we which we have purchased from before. So if it says purchased, you may be downloading it already, or you may, yeah. So you may have downloaded from before, or it may be in downloads already. Now this one is free. So let's just go ahead, click on download, and then we should see it. Yep, refreshing, we're good to go. We can get out of here just by pressing circle we can go to battle ages free as well we're looking at less than half a gig it's only 313 megabytes let's just press download once the download begins we can just go back and keep going with everything else that we're doing on our playstation now this we have purchased from before so we're going to skip that we're going to go into four kings casino and this one should be actually quite small which it is we're looking at 3.06 gigs let's just download this and now let's go back yes some of these will take a long time it does depend on your internet speed and i usually suggest using an ethernet cable on your playstation in order to get this faster anyways looking at this one at 29.58 gigs so it is big it's a big game let's just download it And how long will this take to download? Well, since I'm downloading a lot, it could take a whole day. However, for some of you with faster internet speed, it could just take a couple minutes. Slow internet speeds could take a lot longer. Obviously, the faster, the less you guys have to actually wait. Let's just download this. This one's only a gig, so it's not gonna take long at all. You just go back. Then we have this one right here. Go ahead, press on download once that pops up. Yep, download. Now, this is different. This is only 4.51 gigs. So, it should take just about 10 minutes for me or so. Then we have Frozen. And we're looking at 381 megabytes. Let's just download it. This is really, really small. This should only take a couple minutes for me. We're looking at five to 10 minutes max. And that's only because I'm downloading so much other stuff right now. Other than that, it wouldn't even take that. Same goes with this. This should only take 
a couple minutes just because it's only 289 megabytes. It's not even a gig, it's not even half a gig. It's just a couple megabytes. And here we go, full game. Now this should be a little bit bigger. Yep, so we're looking at 6.8 gigs. Let's just press on download. And once the download begins, like I just mentioned, just get out of it, go and play something or keep downloading other games. You do not need to wait on this screen in order for your game to download. It's just gonna download in the background. So even if you're um, looking at other games, other stuff in your PlayStation, you should be okay. So let's just go back. Then we got this guy here. We're looking at 10 gigs, significantly bigger. Let's just download it. Once we press download, we should wait for it. Yeah. So as long as you guys see that screen, you guys can go ahead and go into your next game. Then we got guns up. So let's just click right there. And we're gonna download this. This is 898 megabytes. So it's almost a gig. So it shouldn't take too long in order to download. We should be looking at just a couple minutes as well. For some of you, it could even take 30 minutes to download one gig. Others with really slow internet, it can take quite a bit. <laughs> now this one is 390 megabytes. So I'll download it. It's pretty small, so we shouldn't have to wait too much for it. Let's just go down. Now we're gonna see Dynasty. Let's just click right there. And it's 19.47 gigs. Let's just click on download and then download should begin. We can go back and here we got Resident Evil. Also free. So we can go ahead, click on it. And we should see this as long as we see download. Nothing about paying anything. Nothing about anything to do with payments or verifying your payment information. You should be good. So this one's 6.56 gigs. Pretty small for what it is. So just go back, go into the next one. Now this one's just about it. Yeah, we're looking at 9.29 gigs. Again, we're just gonna download it. We shouldn't wait, have to wait too long for these games to download. They're not huge. They're big, not huge. <laughs> Let's go into the next one. This one should be quite smaller. Let's see what happens. Yep, it's not even a gig. We're looking at 780 megabytes. Press on download. And here we go, it's about to download. Perfect, let's just go back. Now we have Life is Strange, episode one, full game. Let's just press right there and we're gonna see the game. We don't see a price, it's perfect. Let's just press download. It's not asking to verify any payment information, which is perfect, it means it's free. After all, we are in the free section. Let's just go back and then we have Battle Island. Once this loads, we can go ahead and press download. So that's 206 megabytes. That's not even half a gig. That's less than half a gig. So download process for this will be quite fast. Versus this type of game, which you guys will see significantly size difference. So we're looking at 700, not 700, 7.77 gigs. We're gonna download that. So this will take quite a bit longer in order to download. But as long as we see this, should be okay to just go back and continue on with anything else we're doing on our PlayStation. Let's just go into this game. And this one's pretty good. So we're looking at 2.28 gigs. Let's press on download. Download should begin. And we should be good to go into our next game. And here we got one of our last games. So we're looking at Blacklight. Yep. This one's only 4.91 gigs. Let's just download it. Once the download begins, we can go back. And for that game in particular, you shouldn't have to wait that long. It's only four gigs, so maybe 30 minutes for those of you with slow internet. For some of you who have faster internet, it should be only a couple minutes. So it does depend on internet speed. Anyways, we have a video about these other games already. So Warframe and all that. So you don't really have to make a video right now. That would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write it down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.